With Jisoo's solo finally out, I just want to say they completely missed the whole SOLO thing going on. They had a whole opportunity here, um, but instead now it's Sulf. Um, but either way, this is not an acronym review. This is an album review. But for real this time, before I say anything, I gotta say Jisoo. She is my bias in Blackpink. She is like the main reason why I got into K-pop in the first place. But I do gotta admit, both of these songs sound super Teddy-ish. If you don't know Teddy, he is the producer for most of the YG songs for Blackpink. And he did compose All Eyes on Me, which is the B-side. But he only did lyrics for Flower as Flower was produced by 24, VBN, and Crush. In my eyes, it's not a bad thing. But in general, it kind of gets old after a while. And I'm sure many of you guys agree so with saying that i'm gonna go ahead and get into this review this song is much more upbeat than i expected to be honest i expected more of a slightly slow song probably because i feel like her voice fits more on a genre like that i think she does well on both but considering how she sounded on you never know and the happiest girl which was on both black pink albums i personally think that jisoo would have done great on a slower song like that but like i said i do believe that this works for her and i guess it's nothing new considering she likes to do pop songs for her solo stages like clarity and liar for their tours as black pink and in the song itself i hear sun Mi's Gashina in this song, which I'm a fan of, so I do like it for that reason as well. Many people are comparing the song to Jenny's solo in terms of the music video and the music and the song itself. And to be honest, I cannot disagree. I really do hear Jenny's solo in this. And to just be a little negative for a second, I wouldn't be surprised if someone told me that this instrumental was originally used for like a Jenny solo demo and it was scrapped, so they just gave it to Jisoo. Like, I feel like I wouldn't be that surprised if that was the case because they are very similar. Like, like there is a YG formula, obviously there is a Teddy formula, like I was saying in the beginning of the video. So, I mean, I like the sound of it, but I cannot disagree with those thoughts and the people who think that. But back a while ago when Jenny Solo was made, it was produced by Teddy. But this time in 2023, Flower was specifically not made by Teddy. So it is kind of interesting that there is kind of Teddy sound in there. But for the music video, the visuals are very nice as they should be for Blackpink's visual member. They really highlighted the fact that she is the known visual of Blackpink with the elegant outfits that they gave her in the music music video everything was shot super nicely to complement her looks yg never fails on the music video and that's for sure so i think in that department they did very good and it seems like a lot of people are agreeing with that i'm not one to usually comment on the choreo much in k-pop or just in general i really just like the music and the music video but flowers dances seem more on the simplistic side and to me it's almost a little too simplistic for the poppy instrumental that it has like i have no problem with it being simplistic like of course jisoo can do whatever she wants with this song everybody does think of jisoo as a more simplistic person so it does fit her but i don't know if it fits the song if you know what i mean it feels like there should be more energy in the dance to match with the song you know to match the vibes in a way the difference could be considered good but to me it kind of feels flat in comparison to the song that we hear and the dance that we see but that could be me i'm not a professional dancer so there could be like a reason for this i'm not sure though but for me flower is something that has to grow on me i don't hate it but just like jisoo said not bad but not good but yeah onto the b side Now, this one definitely grew on me after a full day of listening to it. When I first listened to it, I honestly thought it sounded like a YouTube intro. Like the opening part of it really does sound like an old YouTube intro. Um, but overall, it is a very, very YG-ish song uh, with a full EDM pop sound. But, you know, I do enjoy this one considering I am into that type of music. At first, my initial thought was, oh man, this is just another generic song. I'm not gonna bother with it. But like I said, it did grow on me. So it could be the same for you too. But I do hear a lot of people saying that they enjoy All Eyes On Me more as a song than Flower. But like I said earlier, this was produced by Teddy. So it is pretty obvious why this would sound like a generic YG track. And I am one to enjoy most of YG's sounds, especially with Blackpink. So personally, I can't complain, but I can say that it really could feel repetitive after listening to a bunch of teddy produced music back to back to back it can get pretty old i'm not gonna lie but this song it's kind of a weird case for me where i know it sounds like any other song like in general not with just teddy like it really does just sound like a generic song especially from the late 2010s but it's not bad on the ears and since i'm a fan of blackpink it kind of just becomes an automatic like for me it's kind of the same case with rose's hard to love solo off of the born pink album i think that's a pretty generic song like something you just hear in like an american store because it's all english and it's just like some 
song about love but because of who it is it makes me enjoy it more so it's kind of a weird case for me so because of that i like this song and i do think that those two songs pair very well together you know just listen to them back to back i at least i think they do even though it's like a late 2010 generic song it's something i can't really hate on but yeah it is like a fun song i do see it getting fairly old because it does feel pretty dated but in my opinion it's a good song nonetheless i don't absolutely hate anything on this album but, but yeah you can't really have have high expectations with yg and especially blackpink like it's just a known fact at this point whether or not you like them you just cannot have high expectations because you know you're just gonna get the same formula you're gonna get something really familiar that you've heard in the past that was unique at the time like how i'm comparing flower to solo like if flower came out first maybe it would have been more of an eye opener but at this point it kind of just does feel like a jenny solo part two but like i said you just cannot have high expectations for yg but in terms of the yg formula and jisoo i do think that this fits jisoo very well so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video